hello guys welcome to my channel in this video we are going to see the muscles of the medial compartment of the thigh its origin insertion nerve supply and its action so first let me point out what are all the muscles that are included in the medial compartment of the thigh the muscles are adductor longus adductor brevis adductor magnus gracilis and pectineus First let me show all the muscles of the medial compartment then we will be discussing about each and every muscle briefly. So the first muscle, so here what you are seeing this is the pectineus then this is adductor brevis then this is adductor longus and here you can see adductor magnus and here you can see gracilis. So the first muscle what we are going to see is pectineus. Now coming again to the origin of the pectineus muscle. Where does this pectineus muscle arises from? So what you are seeing here this is the hip bone of the right side. So in order to understand the origin of the pectineus muscle it is important to know about two parts. One is this uh, superior pubic ramus and the next one is the pectin pubis. So this portion, this orange shaded one, this is the superior pubic ramus. And this one is the inferior pubic ramus. So this one is the superior pubic ramus and this is the inferior pubic ramus. And on the inner aspect you can see this is the pectin pubis. This portion. Now coming again to the origin of the pectineus muscle. So this pectineus muscle it arises from the pectin pubis and then from the superior pubic ramus. So here you can see this is the superior pubic ramus and it also arises from the fascia covering the pectineus muscle. So again I am repeating uh, this pectineus muscle it arises from the pectin pubis superior pubic ramus and the fascia covering the pectineus muscle. Now coming to the insertion of the pectineus muscle. Here you can see this muscle gets inserted into the femur and that too particularly into the pectineal line. Pectineal line is nothing but the line extending from the lesser trochanter to that of the medial lip of the linea aspera. So here you can see this is the pectineal line on the femur so this muscle pectineus muscle gets inserted into the pectineal line so now coming to the nerve supply all the muscles of the medial compartment of the thigh that is the adductor compartment of the thigh it is supplied by obturator nerve mostly by obturator nerve but this muscle has an exception in that which is nothing but it has double nerve supply So anterior fibers of the pectineus muscle, it is supplied by the femoral nerve. So anterior fibers, it is supplied by the femoral nerve. So the posterior fibers, it is supplied by the anterior division of the obturator nerve. Hope you all know that the obturator nerve, it rises from the lumbar plexus. And it has a root value of L2, L3 and L4. Femoral nerve, it was already discussed in the previous video. You can check out the description box for the link. So, it has also the root value L2, L3 and L4. So, it is formed by the dorsal divisions of the anterior primary of rami of the spinal nerves L2, L3 and L4. And it is formed by the ventral divisions of the anterior primary rami of L2, L3 and L4 spinal nerves. Then next coming to the action, this pectineus muscle performs two main actions. One is the flexion of thigh and adduction of thigh. As the name itself suggests, this adductor compartment muscles, all the muscles of the adductor compartment, they help in the adduction of thigh. 